Hi, I'm the Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I am here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, because the Super Bowl's coming, and it's the best game of the whole year. At least we hope. And February is going to be a really exciting month. And here's what's happening for your sign. The last quarter moon conjuncts Mars. Aries, the month begins with a highly energized last quarter moon that brings the extra intensity of Mars to your eighth house of shared energy. Use your emotional power to finish joint projects and check on your investment strategies. The more you get done now, the more time you'll have to enjoy some intimate pleasures <laughs> during next week's Super Bowl and the Chinese New Year. It's a Super Super Bowl weekend. Aries, Super Bowl weekend starts with a Venus-Pluto conjunction in your 10th house. Now, don't allow this weekend's excitement to start too soon. Keep an eye on the prize, for this energy can bring a big change in your career status. Then Venus squares Uranus in your first house on Saturday, and this can be disruptive to your plans. Don't be too willful, but do express the strength of your personality. On Sunday, Mars squares the Sun from your eighth house, bringing a sense of extra energy. There's electricity in the air. <laughs> you can be passionate about your team, but you must allow others to do the same. Monday brings the energy of a new moon to your 11th house and the Chinese New Year. Use this new cycle to connect with others in a meaningful way. Network can bring you future rewards. Before going on to the magical Sun-Neptune conjunction, I'd like to remind you that you can learn how to develop your own psychic and spiritual abilities. Just order a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic. It's on ProfessorAstrology.com. The Sun Conjuncts Neptune Aries, the Sun Conjuncts Neptune on February 28th. This is a special once-a-year transit that enhances the visionary and spiritual qualities of life. It illuminates your 12th house of limitation and spirituality. You would be wise to take a quiet time to look deep inside. This can be a powerful spiritual time when you can heal past hurts, open your spiritual vision, and find some inner inspiration. Listen carefully to the subtle dreams and intuitions that come to you about the future. They may lead you in a totally new direction. These predictions were based on your sun sign. If you want more accurate information, go to my website, professorastrology.com, to the readings and chart page, and there you can order a transit chart that'll tell you what's happening for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching, I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great month.